Hello there everyone, this is Lilith and welcome back to another one of my videos for all to new. Today I'll be sharing a layout I created with the Delicate Bloom stamp set and the Mega Brush Alpha stamp set, which are from our latest May release. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my background and I've got a smooth piece of 8.5 by 11 inch wide cardstock and I'm just going to pop my Delicate Bloom stamp onto an acrylic block. I'm going to ink this up with some nice black ink. I'm using the obsidian ink from All to New here. And I'm just going to create a really fun background with this stamp set. So I'm going to stamp one image more to the top, another one at the bottom like so. And I'm going to stamp a couple of um, secondary images that fall over the sides. There's always a good way uh, to add detail to a page and I think it's a lot more cohesive if you, some of these elements flow over the sides. So that's my background done and I'm going to stamp a couple more of these images onto a separate sheet of white cardstock and these will uh, be cut out afterwards. So now I'm going to color, the, color them. This is just an outline stamp. So what I did is I looked through all the stamps I had and I picked out a couple which had a a base stamp that would probably fill some of these blooms and I chose the Antique Roses stamp set and I took the first of the layering images and just inked it up with Pink Pearl and Vineyard Berry and just added those colors over the blooms. This is a really fun and more whimsical way of coloring your blooms if you do not want to hand color them. So once I've got those blooms ready, I'm going to add a couple of more details and I'm going to use once again the Antique Roses stamp set and just take a smaller uh, stamp and just stamp a couple of details on those buds. And I'm using a darker color here, I'm using a grapevine. Now, I also pulled out the Climbing Climantis um, stamp set because there were some images in there that I could use for the smaller flowers. And I'm going to use the Eastern Sky ink here, which is a, a, lot, a softer color. I'm just going to ink that up and then stamp that over those blooms. In the end, I did take a larger one just because I, I wanted a bit more of that lovely blue color. For my leaves, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to look through those two stamp sets and try and find a leaf or like a leaf cluster that will work. And once I've got that, so you can see I'm trying out a couple of leaves here. I'm going to go with the, the one with three leaves on there. I'm just going to use my Firefly ink for this. Once I've got all those elements, I'm going to cut out the flowers which are on that separate sheet and then I can start working on putting the layout together. So I've popped down all my floral elements and I'm pretty amazed at how good it already looks just with a couple of stamped images. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out a couple of sequins just to add a little bit of sparkle. I'm using some lovely gold sequins from All to New. This is just going to add a bit of contrast. Once I've got the sequins on there, I'm going to uh, work on my title. For my title, I'm going to use the Mega Brush Alpha. This is my new favorite alphabet set. I love hand-lettered fonts and this one is really fun to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a couple of these letters separately so that I can overlay them a little bit to give them a more natural look as if you have uh, lettered them yourself like here with the L and the O. The V and the E I'm just going to pop together. They can go side by side and they're pretty easy to stamp. I had to stamp them several times because I didn't apply an even pressure. 
So now that I've got the love on there, I'm also going to add a couple of sentiments. I'm going to use some of the sentiments from the Delicate Blooms stamp set. There are uh, various sentiments on there in different fonts. And I love that, that you have a more hand-lettered font, a calligraphy font and a more typed font. I'm going to stamp two sentiments below the title, another one more in the middle of the page, and I'm going to add another sentiment just on top of the photo, and that is going to create my visual triangle and frame the photo, and also helps the, the eye flow over the page more. A little bit of hand lettering, hand journaling is just going to finish off the layout and there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any questions about the layout, just pop them in the comment section. And for more information on all the products used, please visit the all to new mixed media blog. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.